welcome back to Model Kit Stuff. It's the 5th of January 2021 and this has just landed through my door. Uh, so time for another first impressions video. So what we've got here is um, Airfixers 148 Bristol Blenheim Mark 1. Um, I think this kit was first released as a new tool um, back in 2019 uh, and this is the second release of the kit with uh, new markings and, and paint schemes. So, um, I've not had the previous version of the model so I've got nothing to compare it to as to whether there's any changes to the sprue. So if like me you've not seen this kit before then this video is, is probably for you. Um, let's just have a look. I've not even cut through the tape on this yet. I've literally just opened the box from the delivery. We have, uh, there we go, it's a skill level 2. It uh, comes with three flying goers. Uh, as usual there with Airfix list of paints, what you need for each scheme and then the two paint schemes. So the first one is uh, number 211 Squadron Grease 1941 which has a tropical scheme a bit like the recent tropical hurricane scheme uh, and then the second one is the uh, 90 Squadron Oxfordshire in England 1938 so pre-war one with a with a black undercarriage so two quite nice schemes um, not sure which one I'm gonna do at any point um, when I get to doing this um, but I quite like the blue undercarriage so possibly possibly that um, the artwork on the top of the box is um, lovely as airfix artwork recent artwork always is pitting some um, action with Italian fighter aircraft so let's have a look inside. The packaging is exactly as you'd expect from Airfix. There is um, a small bag with the um, clear parts in and then all the other sprue are stuffed into a single bag. Um, I'm not going to comment on that. I think most people have the view on um, how good a system it is to put everything in one bag and, and the damage that that, that can cause. Um, you also get Again, fairly standard for Airfix these days. Um, the instructions, um, a separate colour sheet, and um, a set of decals. Um, so let's have a quick look at the decals first. So um, you get um, clearly defined decals for, for each paint scheme, and then um, a set of common decals. And if I go in there, they're, they're very nice. Some of these are, um, are quite small. I wouldn't say it was a huge array. I've certainly seen bigger decal sh sheets for a 148. But yeah, all looks very nice. There's a separate um, colour paint sheet um, shouts out the um, paints that you require for the exterior. You need to um, confer with the edge of the box as to what else you might need um, for whichever paint pattern you're doing A or B. Um, and that'll be things like um, some of the interior colours, pilots and, and so on. Um, so I quite like this, this layout. It shows you quite clearly um, what's a paint colour, what's a, a, a decal. Um, so yeah, it's nice and clear. Um, and then exactly the same on, on the other side. Um, not sure what that is. Upper wing, some research notes on there, and I'm not quite sure what they are. Do they have them on that side? No, they don't have them on that side, so not quite sure. Uh, anyone round us modified to type B by having the yellow portions overpainted in fresh dark green? Oh, okay. Okay, so it's to do with the, the roundels. Okay, that's interesting. The parts themselves, um, the clear parts are very, very clear. I mean, they are crystal clear. In fact, they might be the nicest clear parts I've ever seen. Um, yeah, they are really properly nice. And there's some matted areas. I don't know if, if the camera will pick that up. There are some matte areas where that, that needs painting. So. They have gone beyond what you need so that you can get a nice crisp line. 
yeah yeah it's more there quite a few um, clear parts on this actually yeah really nice the sprue out of the bag has the two fuselage fuselage halves in um, so the detail there is really quite good panel lines are, are, are nice And then on the inside, um, my first impression is there's quite a lot of injection marks, but now I'm looking at it, um, you can see there's pauses in the ribs. So I'm guessing that there are some parts that get fitted in there. We'll have a look at the instructions and confirm that. So a lot of these may actually get covered up. So, uh, second screw out has the um, has some wing parts. So the wings are constructed in two halves. Um, obviously, openings there for. I'm guessing um, that's for the wing light, and then you've got the engine bays. Um, so yeah, some nice rivet detail there. Um, various removable panels. Yep, all looks good. Some um, small parts there, I'm not quite sure what they are. Um, but everything, as you'd expect for a kit of this age, is nice and crisp. The third sprue um, is much larger sprue, and we have on here some of the engine parts, uh, bombs, um, some bits of frame there for something, um, and the wheels. So let's have a look at the engine parts first. So, it's very finely textured and, and if you can just pick that up there. Um, the the moulding is actually really fine, it's very nice. Um, those probably look a little bit th thick, those rods, but I'd have to check. Um, exhausts, open ends, that's really nice. Uh, the Bombs are um, in halves, so you're going to have to join them together so there'll be some seam clean up. The smaller bombs, just like on their um, walrus, are full. Uh, that looks like the back of the engine. Not quite sure what these frames are for. Could be undercarriage for the wheels, I would imagine. Um, also look very nicely detailed, will look great under paint. The tyres are weighted, um, so um, and they're two halves. So great if you want it parked. Not so great if you want it wheels down and on a standing flight. But uh, yeah, look good. Um, there is some letters on there and a little rim. So actually, the detail of the wheel hub is nice as well. Yeah, that all looks quite good. And then you've got the propeller there, which is already pre-molded and fixed. Um, fairly typical for this scale. The next fret out is an exact copy of the first one. So um, basically it'll build the second engine more bombs and the second. So the next sprue out um, has the wing top half sections and uh, the engine um, is, is pre-moulded in so you've got no joins or anything that you need to do there. Um, and then we've got some looks like internal parts for the wings there. Um, pilot who has separate arms so that's quite nice. Pallet figure looks really nice actually. Um, uh, that's interesting. So with posable arms, that's that's interesting. Um, I think that might be the seat. So there's some detail on there, whether it's accurate or not, I don't, I'm not sure. Um, that, that might be wrong, but that looks like a parachute, and that could be pedals by the looks of it. So we've got some interior cockpit bits on this one, let's just flip it over. 
Um, so we've got some detail on the on the wing uh, flaps there, which is interesting. So some detail, but uh, not a huge amount. But I think we'll all look good for its size. Pilot's hollow at the back. Yeah, very nice. That sprue um, has um, flaps, tail sections, um, the bottom parts of the engine's uh, cockpit floor pad. Um, so let's just have a quick, quick look. So some nice texture on the tail there. You've got got some nice indentation on the on the ribs there. Um, obviously the control cable is a bit thick, but that'd be easy to cut out and replace with a little bit of wire. Same with these flaps here. Lots of nice texture on them. Tail wheel. Over on this side, uh, we've got a gun there, uh, fairly generic for airfix that particular gun. Um, some more ribbing detail on these flaps, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, and that's the part. So we've we've got one, two. Six sprues plus the clear sprues, so seven, seven trees of plastic parts all in all. Let's have a look at the instructions. The instructions, and we have 117 build steps in total. Anyone who's familiar with um, recent Airfix instructions will, will know that what you're going to get is um, a fairly standard approach these days, which I happen to really like. So they use a colour scheme where they have um, green for remove and red shows you where the last part was attached. So if you look at the first two steps, first step shows you the item being glued in place, second uh, step shows you the next one and the previous one, uh, but the previous one's on a different orientation so you get an understanding and sometimes that's really helpful when you've got more complexity in the build steps. So I really like that. Uh, there's some text in there when assembling the bomb bay doors close cut these parts off so that's nice and clear so you've got options on the third step so you've got to make those decisions fairly early on um, yeah and this seems to be a build up of the interior part so that's probably the gun tub i'm imagining um, i might be wrong uh, yeah and then uh, yeah uh, the seat uh, which has a se separate sides so uh, they used to do a lot of tub casting of the whole thing in one this is going to give you a bit more finesse which which i like um, and then some framework that goes around it so actually there's quite a lot of detail when you look at this assembled that looks really nice there's a lot of detail in there a lot of detail uh, nice picture there shows you what it should all look like uh, against there so you can make sure you've orientated it right painting instructions as you go as always with airfix which you know is the reason why airfix instructions are, are amongst the very best a uh, little foldable seat there seat rest um, so uh, i didn't pick this up on the parts as we were going through it but that's um looks like raised detail on the on the dashboard and then you've got the instruments, so you've got an option of painting or you can put the decals over. That little bit there is the um, compass, there's no decal for the top of it, which is a bit disappointing. Let's have a look at the next step. Okay, so we're cutting out holes depending on, on what bomb options you want to go with. That looks like the radio is going in there, communication equipment. Uh, then you've got some of the 
underside hatches going in. Um, so you're putting the fuselage house together at step 24. Then we're building up the wings uh, undercarriage sections. Um, so this is a nice feature also. In the, in the top corner of the steps they're showing you whether it's wheels up or wheels down so that you don't accidentally build something uh, incorrectly for, for what your intention is. Um, so yeah and look they're showing you that if you're having this wings up make sure that the flat the weighted area is facing up which is a, it's a nice little reminder there. Um, Again, this looks really quite complex in its construction. There's a lot going on, which gives you a really nice, authentic look to the undercarriage mechanism there. That, that looks really quite, quite pretty, that. Um, then that leads us on to tail construction. I'm gonna guess you've got options there to have the flaps up or down looks like you, you can. Then we go on to building the radial engines. So there's a little pin there that allows you to have the, the prop um, movable. Um, yeah, and by the time the cowling's on, that's probably sufficient for the, for the engine. You know, it's not got cables and bits and pieces on, but you're not gonna see that largely, I don't think. As you can see when the cowling's on, you've, you've got enough detail in there, I would think. A couple of parts going in there afterwards, more detailing on the cowling. So uh, the, the part count on this must be um, fairly high for an airfix kit, actually. They're really up in the game in recent years. Okay, so if you're doing flaps up, you're going to have to take that off, which is interesting. Um, so they've got lots of ribbing in there if you're doing flaps open, which is really nice, probably over scale, and probably there'll be aftermarket replacements, I have no doubt. Um, but if you're wanting to do a straight box build, you've got options there that look a bit more realistic. So I, I like that. Good on Airfix for that. Then this is the uh, gun position, I think, being built up. Yeah. So that wasn't a gun tub earlier on, so I'm not sure what that was. Then we've got um, a wheels down build, followed by tail wheel and bombs, bomb bay open, um, external bombs. So you could have quite a, could be bristling with uh, ordnance if you wanted. Pilots are just a single figure. I don't see, let me just go back. I didn't see a figure for that gun tub, did we? No, there isn't a figure for the gun tub, so don't know. Don't know. I, I would like to have seen a figure in the gun tub, I think. That's clear instructions on the glass build up. Quite a complex three, four piece construction. For, for the cabin, but there is quite a lot of glaze in there. Um, they've got the props going on last. They build up um, 33 parts and then bit up tube and bit and bits and pieces like that going on. And that's it. So that all looks um, like the build steps are, are logical, the instructions are clear. Um, so, yeah. it. Um, the Officially, the 2020 release of um, Airfix's 148 Bristol Blenheim. Most people won't have got their hands on it until um, this year. I had this on pre order. Um, it came into stock between Christmas and New Year um, and has just reached me now. So I imagine this is now hitting the shops around about um, now and, and, and you'll be able to pick one up this week probably. Um, first impressions yeah, looks really nice. Um, certainly uh, a more complex build, lots of interior detail, lots of very nice detail around the cockpit that will be visible. Um, the undercarriage looks um, nice and busy and complex. So I think straight out of the box you can have something that's actually going to look really nice. No doubt there's aftermarket 
etching stuff probably already available as this is a second release of this kit um, so you can go to town on it if you want but I think you're fairly safe to do a straight out of the box build have the flaps down have the landing gear down and have something that under a bit of paint and, and some some weathering would actually look really good I quite like the uh, two camouflage schemes the very different gives you two very di nice different options quite like the tropical scheme myself so I'm thinking that's probably the way I will go um, I will do a build di diary of this at some point got some current projects to clear off first so um, if you're interested in seeing more um, first impression videos then please subscribe if you're interested in seeing this built up at some point please subscribe so you don't miss that um, I have the airfix Vulcan coming up as a, a first impression as soon as that gets to me um, and I have um, the Dazworks World War One U-boat coming along um, later this month hopefully so lots more to see thanks for joining me see you soon